Hey Kings, you are once again welcome. Today I am going to share with you, 5 basic and most useful effects in After Effects. And as you do it always, make sure to leave your comments and suggestions down below. So quickly, let's get started. The first effect that I am going to share with you today is the CC Light Sweep effect which is under Generate. This is one of the effects that I use mostly. And also, you can make it more visible by increasing the width and the intensity. This effect actually brings more attention to your text or your logo. And you can simply animate it by adding a keyframe to center. Move forward on the timeline, and then change the position. And that's it. This is also the same effect that I used for my logo. Check it out. Effect number 2 is the glow effect, which is found under Stylize. This effect as the name suggests, adds a nice glow to your text or your logo. You can increase the glow by increasing the glow radius. And of course there are many options that you can play with. Let's move quickly to number 3. Number 3 is the fill effect, which is also found under Generate. This effect allows you to change the color of the entire text, logo or whatever you want to change. One thing that I also like about the fill effect is that, you can also add keyframes to the colors, which is really amazing. Okay, let's move to number 4. But don't be scared by my skull. Number 4 is the key light effect which is found under keying. This effect helps you to key out green screens. You can simply do that by clicking on the color selector, and then select the green. And in case your green was not perfectly removed, you can play with a screen gain option. And then the final effect for today is the Lumetri color, which is also under color correction. Of course this is not the only effect under color correction. But with this effect, you are going to get the basic correction, creative, curves, color wheels and even more. So for example, if I want to color correct this clip, I can just open up the basic correction. And then do some adjustments on the contrast, highlights, shadows and the others. And you can now see the results. Or you can still play with creative, curves and the other option for a nice color correction. And that's it for today. I hope you learned something new. And thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, for more and amazing tutorials. And also, you can leave your questions and comments down below. I always appreciate comments. Jesus loves you. See you next week.